I decided that the New York theater was where I really belonged, and not Hollywood. So um, I was actually doing a play at the Manhattan Theater Club back when they were uh, further, they were on the east side in those days. Uh, <clears throat> it was a play called The Sirens by Richard Wesley. And um, the director of that production was a friend of mine who, with whom I had worked at New Lafayette, uh, Bill Lathan. And his younger brother, Stan Lathan, was an up-and-coming uh, TV director and film director as well, but mostly television. And he worked quite a bit on this kid's show called Sesame Street. And he came backstage after the show and he said, you know, they're looking for someone to replace an actor on this, this kid's show, Sesame Street. I said, yeah, I've heard about that show. He said, and I said, you know, you, do you work on it? He said, yeah, I, I work on the show. It's a good show. Really, you know, you should check it out. Now, by that time, I had uh, recently married, and my wife was expecting our first child. So the thought of having a steady job on television, you know, sounded pretty good. Is there a stigma about it being a children's show? Well, yeah, because, I mean, you know, it's not, couldn't be serious, right? <laughs> couldn't be, I'm a serious actor, you know, so... And I had never really done anything um, that was specifically for kids. Uh, so I, it was just, you know, the fact that it, and, and it, it also conjured in my mind, you know, images of Pinky Lee and, uh, you know, Captain Kangaroo, you know, which uh, I just couldn't see myself in, 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 in those kinds of uh, images. But my first meeting with the producers of Sesame Street changed all of that. I realized that you know, this was something very different. The initial contact was just a meeting, you know, just to s sit and talk and for them to find out who I was and vice versa. And it was with uh, John Stone and Dave Connell, who was at that time the uh, executive producer of the show. John Stone was producer and ri head writer and everything. I mean, John Stone was um, like several of the other major uh, geniuses that I've worked with in, in my career, but uh, you just knew that this guy, whatever it was, he had it, you know, and uh, I was really impressed with him. And he asked if I'd come back to, to do a, a screen test the next week, which um, I said, of course, you know. And um, by the time I uh, came in, it was narrowed down to just three actors myself and uh, two friends of mine, actually, who I had known for some time. Uh, one was a guy named uh, David Downing, who was a, an original member of the Negro Ensemble Company in, in those days. Uh, that was another theater company of that period. Uh, other than New, New Lafayette was the one I was a part of. He was in, uh, with NEC. So we were kind of rival with rival companies, but, you know, we were friends. And, and, and I thought he had a lot of the elements that they were looking for, for, for Gordon. You know, really easygoing, kind of sweet-natured guy, you know, and a uh, very good actor. And the other guy they were looking at was uh, Robert Guillaume, who, of course, a few years later went on to become Benson on TV. So the three of us uh, were given these tests, you know, to try out for the part of Gordon, and it was in two parts. Um, the first part was to do a scene with a Muppet, and uh, the Muppet I was given to work with was Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> so here I was, you know, sitting on these steps and looking in this can, and I'm supposed to relate to this, this kind of this green rag coming out of the can on the end of this guy's arm, but all I could see, all I could really relate to, just naturally as an actor, was the guy who I could see in plain sight, you know, who was actually talking, he wasn't trying to, you know, conceal the fact that he was performing. Carol Spinney uh, uh, was his name, and he was just down there acting and talking. And I, I just knew that based on my inability to talk to this, this puppet, there was no way I was going to get this job, right? But um, the second part of the test, fortunately, was to do uh, an improvised scene with, with a kid. Well, the kid that, that I was chosen to work with uh, that was chosen to work with me was John John Williams, uh, who became known as John John on Sesame Street. And in those days, he did, oh, any number of uh, little vignettes with, with, with 
Grover and and and, and Kermit and you know all the like the, just the one on one little little scenes and he was the most adorable bright funny you know kid who and he had this especially when he was a little younger than when I worked with him he was about three those are just some classic pieces where he would he would get so excited about counting to fifteen you know and his voice would go way up and he just you know, he'd have this, this and I, could, I, I can't reproduce. I mean, I guess it's kind of like Elmo, only an, another octave higher. Uh, and this great face, his eyes, you know, and so this is the kid that I had had the chance to work with for my, for my audition, and I just had a ball with this kid. And uh, I guess it was based on that, I presume, that uh, I was offered the part because, uh, you know, I obviously enjoyed being with him and he with me, and we just had a, had a good time, you know. Um, and um, so that was a good moment, you know, to, to, to get this job on a TV show that I figured might last for a couple of years, you know, maybe.